Hello everybody, today we are going to practice major 2-5-1s in the style of guitarist Grant Green. The first phrase goes like that. And the second phrase first phrase is played over a major 2-5-1 so we have the minor 2 and the 5th degree chord belt on the 5th degree in the same bar the next bar we will find the major chord the 1 chord so we have 2-5-1 in the space of 2 bars and right after we are playing this phrase over the major chord. As you can see on the PDF, we are starting with G minor, C7, and F major. So we are in a key of F major. Then, if you look at the second line, we are modulating, we are changing key, and this, as you can see, we have a B flat major, so we are playing the key of B flat major. 2-5 in B-flat major, and we are following the cycle of fifth. So first key is F major, then B-flat major, E-flat major, A-flat major, D-flat major, and lastly G-flat major. And every time we have the same phrase, but transposed in these keys. probably already know the F major scale. F, A, B flat, C, D, E. So I'm starting with A, which is the third of F major, and also the ninth or the second of G minor. So I'm always referring to the chords above the melody. And also I can think about the melody more generally in the key. What are the notes? Uh, in the melody that also belongs to F, the F major scale. So you can see both viewpoint. Viewpoint from the chords directly and the viewpoint for, from the key, the key center. So G minor, A is the second. Then F sharp is a major seven. G is a root. A, the second. Then B flat is the minor seven, C the root, D flat is the flat nine, E flat is the sharp nine. Then we are resolving to C the fifth of F major, and we have a short descending line. B flat is the fourth, and lastly A is the third. So we are resolving on A, the third of F major. So you can see that B flat, the man, minor seven, um, arrives on the third beat when C7 is being played the first time. So this is a very important note. It's, this is a target note. Always think about the third and the seven of each chord when you're improvising. Try to play them in your during your line during your improvisation when you are moving from one chord to another one think about the third and the seven of each chord uh, then the second phrase here we are really using notes from the F major scale without passing tone without the fourth without B flat and here I'm, I'm playing almost an arpeggio F major 7 arpeggio now let's take this line through the keys along the backing track and we will play each phrase each line twice
practice this melody very slowly. Think about how to move from one note to the next. If you have a guitar or a piano, I really uh, recommend you to sing the melody and play the bass at the same time. So bass is G. Da, do, 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 do. C on the bass. Do, 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 do. You can really hear the resonance of each note uh, when you are playing the bass. So you can hear this the interval between the bass and the melody. Play slowly, repeat over and over, trying to memorize it. So once you're done with these uh, six tonalities, I really uh, suggest to work on the next six. Mm -hmm. 